Troy, in commemoration of the 50 years of hip hop, I wanted to ask you, did you have a, a list of Brooklyn MCs that you favored growing up? Give me like a top five. You got a top five? A top five Brooklyn MCs? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, off top, there's probably so many people to forget about, but um, Biggie, Jay-Z, of course, Big Daddy Kane. Um, um, you know what? It's still because it was an article in one of those things. Um, what was this shit called? Uh, pit, pitchfork. And he said, hey, after Jay Z and Fabulous, New York had, or uh, Brooklyn was just dead with rappers until Troy Ave came along. You know what I'm I saying? I agree with that. That's what, that's what they said. So it's kind of hard for me to put other people in there. I put myself. We tell my niggas doing it, representing the city. And right. That's four. That's four. Five. Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane, Jay Z, Biggie, Fabulous, Troy Ave, the Father. That's it. When you first came out, they had. It's over niggas, honorable mentions and shit, but you know. Just um, primarily those guys. I don't know doing it. When you first came out, they had this thing where your name was often mentioned in comparison with 50 Cent. <laughs> Right, 50, one of my favorite rappers. Could you give me some history on that comparison and your relationship with 50 Cent? Probably the independent uh, uh, mixtape shit and the melodic clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that, I'm talking shit, came on independent, came out the streets. Nobody did it independent except before, except 50. So I see the comparison in my melodic hook, remix and shit. You know what I'm saying? But 50 was a big influence anyway. So. I'll wait a comparison. Right. We're proud. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Always did. Throughout this situation that happened at Urban Plaza, what was, how, how has your relationship with 50 remained through this? Has he been supportive or have you discussed it with him, anything like that? When I first came home, he was supportive about it. We we spoke and then, um, you know, as time goes by, not so much or whatever. That's like... But I can't even jack like it's just with him. It's just with with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you see him do things like when I got the mic songs, the taxi robber, he reposted shit or whatever, whatever the fuck he did. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was like niggas do shit in their own way. I don't ever look or see or, or hope for what a nigga do. I'm just doing me. Right. That's a fact, though. You um you pled guilty to the situation at Urban Plaza? Yeah, I pled, I pled guilty. That's a fact. So you face a sentencing. Have they gave you a window of the time that you probably could, from six to six months to probation? We hope we gonna hope we should be a year. But whatever it is, I'm taking on the chin. So you you didn't already prepared your mind to do a year? I'm glad no choice. I I prepare my mind to do whatever it is. I'm I'm gonna hope for the best. Like, but you know what I mean. We prepare for whatever it is. Yeah. When I say we, I mean like, you know, me, my loved ones and shit. Right. You feel me? And the fans, they gonna keep getting music, you know what I'm saying? Keep dropping content, y'all gonna keep getting facto shows. Yeah. Like, you know, BAU, business as usual, that's one thing. McDonald's always open. We don't know who the CEO of McDonald's is. Right. Ronald McDonald, who the fuck is it? We don't know. But we know one thing, McDonald's mm -hmm. gonna be open. Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. Yeah. And I'm a businessman, we gonna keep running it. Yeah. As a fact, though, so, you know, whatever. How do you expect to continue to conduct business if you have to go away? Because I'm a businessman. Talk heavy. <laughs> it's a fact, though. It's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really what I do. Like, I don't want niggas to bullets got in my shit and say, I'm <coughs> talking some, you know what I mean? I'm I'm getting too calm. But this, yourself, yeah. It's really what I do. In fact, like, I do business. And at the end of the day, before a businessman, I'm a man. And I don't ever make any excuses. You got either you make shit happen or you don't. There's niggas that make shit happen and there's niggas that don't make shit happen and give you excuses about why they didn't make shit happen. Right. I'm gonna make shit happen because it's necessary. It's necessary for what I want to do and like motivating niggas. We just spoke to a nigga who said, "Nigga, I'm the reason why you rich." I motivate. He was fucked up till he heard lullaby. I got up off the porch with a plan that niggas can't fuck with us or shit like that that I do. I had to pay it forward and that shit'll go to my kids and they kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's it. Those are the blessings. God bless me with the talent. What the fuck being locked up got to do with niggas? With technology, I could record five albums and one could come out every month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck. It don't matter. So just because I'm a nigga that always, I'm, I'm a man that finds a way and, and I'm not successful by accident. You feel me? So that's how I plan to do shit while I'm locked up. The same way 
people could use their mind for something negative, like running a criminal enterprise from jail. Yeah. I run a real business enterprise from jail because I'm a real business and a real business man. I want to say the best to ever do it independently and from in New York and from where I'm from, from the best to ever do it, period. Right. When you say... Um, and that's, what the street, that's from the streets all on the beats. Yeah. In fact, though. When you hear people refer to you as, as snitch, your your a part of your agreement with them was that you had to explain what happened because you was on camera with a you was on camera firing a gun, firing gun. so you had to explain that to them, and that's right. how the plea bargain came into play. So I gotta explain that whether it's on my court case or somebody else's court you gotta case. Explain it, period. You got you got it because my defense is it wasn't me. I wasn't doing this. Right. My defense is yeah, I was booming. I'm booming shit, but this is why I'm booming shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as far as people that might refer to me as I was snitching, these are the same people that are calling Michael Jordan a bum when he's dropping 54 in the garden. It don't matter. They never remembered. It doesn't matter. Right. The majority of the crowd is witnessing greatness, and they're cheering. Yeah. We don't live by the fucking uh, chairs, and we won't never die by the booze. These niggas don't matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's up? A lot of that shit, the acrimony between you and um, Taxstone. His started, name is Ratstone. Ratstone. What? It started on Twitter. Is that safe to say? That it began on Twitter? Yeah. Well, according to him, it began when I met him and did something to him, all kind of beefs and stories that I don't remember. Yeah. Did you ever in your mind, could you ever even comprehend that something that started on Twitter would turn into something that was going to affect your life and your career? Yeah, because, I mean... Twitter, fucking MySpace, all these shits, the fucking chat lines, like all these, Facebook, all these shits are platforms that have real people in it. And when you have real life people, they can be real life interactions. You know what I'm saying? All that is is just another place for uh, a nigga to disrespect you and have you feel disrespected. And then it be pride and ego. And then that that boy was in comes to a head. Yeah. It's no different from you being in a barbershop and hearing niggas talk about... This nigga's a bitch nigga, and I'm fucking this nigga bitch. I'm going to get him. And then y'all meeting up and meeting in the club, and then they being beef. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just a nigga talking on a platform somewhere. So that's what it is, really. It's di throughout the history of men, there's disrespect, and there's niggas who's not tolerating disrespect. And then that's it. When they meet, most times it's an issue. Right. You often speak about the plaque. Were you the first artist to earn that independently? It's another plaque behind you uh, with that Iverson autograph jersey. Another plaque up under there. Let me show yeah. oh, this, I mean, You can just show the people. I don't, I don't even touch them. I made them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even touch them. I made them. It, you know? It, this is another one. And we have um several more. Let's, okay, let's put that back in its rightful place. Okay. In their rightful place with that good AI jersey. <clears throat> yeah. I don't even... I don't, I don't touch it. I don't, whatever. But there's several more plaques, and that's all coming from being independent. That's shit that nobody ever done. Right. And I did it. That's why I move how I move. Because I'm, I'm fucking not an ordinary nigga. I'm an extraordinary nigga. You know what I'm saying? You have a great facility. I appreciate Thanks, you inviting me out here. Man, it's the academy, man. Shout out to my man, Academic. Shout out to Cody. Shout out to YK. Oh, yeah, shout out away. to your production staff. You got a great production staff. And uh, your business partner with the G I G P S. God is great paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the acronym. I like how y'all. Yup, shout to Keith. Uh, tell them where they can find the merchandise at. Uh, God is great paper straight dot com, or um, G I G P S clothing dot com, and probably Amazon. By the time you're watching this shit, Google try a clothing brand or whatever, whatever. And if you will believe in God, whatever it is, you call him Jehovah or Allah, God, period, and you gonna roll with us. Oh, you can get rolled over. Keep up the good work, man. You looking Thank dope in my PA knitted. Yeah, yeah. And this is and, extremely. Um, I said it on camera what it was, man. This is. We gonna get together again soon, man. I appreciate you, man, tremendously. This shit feel like. That's King Thread, man. Emperor's I don't even wear know that what type King of Thread shit, is, man. But this you shit is now. fire. <laughs> you know, <laughs> feel like cocaine. <laughs> I had it. No I, cat. <laughs> I had it in mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Is it easy to wash? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, Troy, again, go ahead, give me a drop, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. Thanks a lot. Hey, what up, what up? It's Troy. This is my second drop, 
and I'm shouting out Gully TV. Every time this guy asks me for a drop, I do the shit. They priceless, Cause I show man. love. You know what I'm saying? They priceless. That's a fact, though. It's Troy Ave Gully, and he can never talk shit because he asked me for a drop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's Troy Ave. I brought him and Bullets Gotti together. You know oh, what I mean? Everything goodness. is. Hey, listen. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Listen. You just said this nigga name. Don't no worry about it. I brought I brought everybody together. It's all love. You know, look, we together. <laughs> this nigga was talking shit about me. I didn't hold a grudge. It right. is what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens. So, God is great in the paper shake, Choi Gully TV. And don't just use that end clip, nigga. I got you, my man. Appreciate you.